WhatsApp spam is inevitable. That's not a surprise, right? No matter how hard you try, it will make its way to your phone in some or the other way. Even if you do manage to gather up the courage to exit the number of groups you're part of, your phone will end up choking with GBs of forwards and memes either from individual chats and yeah, new groups. Deleting them manually is an equally frustrating process as you don't want to get rid of every one of them. So yeah, it's quite a task. But it's 2018 and you can ask machine learning to take care of this boring task for you. Therefore today, we will discuss 4 ways you can free up your phone from WhatsApp spam on Android. Coming up next on techpp.com. Hey guys, this is Shubham from TechPP and today, as you probably know from the video title, we will be showcasing how to easily get rid of WhatsApp spam with any of these 4 methods. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified as soon as you post a new video. Starting off, we have an app called Stash. It's a free Android app that comes with a ton of features through which you can handle WhatsApp spam. Of course, the most important one is its ability to detect which pictures you would like to delete. It does so with the help of an artificially intelligent algorithm that is compatible with both images and videos. So this is how the app works. Once you grant the app the permission to access your storage, Stash will search it in a couple of seconds and allow you to review 18 of them at a time before using. Plus, the app even comes with a trash folder so that you can restore any deleted file within 10 days. That's not all. You can even enable real-time detection which lets the app remove spam pictures and clips as soon as they arrive on your phone. Stash also solves another one of your WhatsApp dilemma. It comes with something called Stash Feed which shows you trending WhatsApp content based on your interest. The app plugs into the official WhatsApp app so that you can quickly forward them. There is a bit of a catch though. To unlock some of these extra tools, you will have to collect digital coins. The app will add some as a daily bonus every day. You will get more whenever you clear spam with the app. Surprisingly, you cannot buy them through in-app purchases, which is probably first for an app. On top of that, Stash is entirely free of cost. You can download it from the link mentioned in the description below. If you thought Stash was a bit too cluttered for your needs, take a look at another app called Shifter Magic Cleaner. You can consider Shifter as a trimmed down version of Stash. This app employs a machine learning algorithm to diagnose your phone for WhatsApp spam. Unlike Stash, here you will find a rather straightforward interface which is much less intimidating and easier to navigate around. Shifter also features a feed which brings you trending content every day. In a way, you can say that Shifter tries to sell you both the disease and the cure. Another perk you have with this app is that it's not limited just to WhatsApp. Shifter functions with a range of messaging services including Hike, Telegram, Viber and Line. Shifter is free as well and you can grab it from the link down below. Next up, we have Google's very own Files Go app. Although this one is more like a one-stop file manager than just a spam cleaner. The app is specifically designed to help Android users free up space. Hence, Files Go offers a series of smart suggestions for how you can achieve that. For instance, it will recommend clearing data of applications you haven't used in a while and of course the WhatsApp media folder. Files Go can also assist you in locating and removing duplicate files. Apart from being a memory rescuer, Files Go even comes with a standard file manager and a peer-to-peer -peer file sharing utility which functions without an internet connection. Files Go is free and you can download it from the link down below. A bunch of smartphone companies like Oppo have begun bundling inbuilt tools for getting rid of messaging spam. The feature is usually present on phones from China-based OEMs and can be found inside the Phone Manager app. So those were some of the methods you can look into for getting rid of WhatsApp spam. Do let us know in the comment section down below if you missed a good one. We are trying something new so please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button if you want us to make more such videos. Until the next time, may the tech be with you.